I went to UVA from 2018 and graduated in May of 2022. Micah Rucci was raised in a small town in New Jersey. He is a former Spanish and media studies double major from the University of Virginia who moved to New York right after graduation to follow his dreams. What was the transition from Charlottesville to New York City like? I had never even been to like the mountains before Charlottesville. So I feel like I was finally adjusted to sort of like the UVA culture and Charlottesville as a city. But I always knew I wanted to be in New York. So it wasn't as bad like a culture shock. I knew what it was going to be like. Micah went on to pursue an incredible opportunity with NBC Universal. What I love about the PAGE program is it sort of feels like an extra year of college because my cohort is 28 kids our age, not kids. I feel like a kid. We're all going through it together and sort of getting adjusted and hanging out and figuring out what the transition between school and now like a 40 hour plus work week. Before working as an NBC page, Michael was a member of WUVA. I did, I went to the interest meeting and I started out my first year in the news department, covering a couple small stories, assisting where I could. And then I spent the rest of my time at UVA in the culture, lifestyle department, a lot of hoop holes. I, I, I love the hoop holes, like the Billy on the Street style videos, getting to talk to people. Uh, that was a really fun way where I got to get better at talking to strangers, which I think was super important. What media related internships and jobs were you a part of prior to joining NBC Page? I really wanted to do the Virginia Film Festival my third year, and they didn't take any interns that time I was applying because they were adjusting to what the virtual festival would be like. So I knew I, that was on the forefront of my mind for fourth year, which I was really fortunate to be a publicity and marketing intern for the film festival my, during my fall semester of fourth year. I wanted to graduate UVA with just like one more name on my resume, one more before leaving to like really finish my time there and show that, you know, I had learned something in a professional uh, environment. And I got 59 rejections and one acceptance. And that was a, an internship with NBC. What can you tell us about the intensity of the application process into the NBC page program? There is no one page is a motto that they really, I think, adhere to and value. And if you can really figure out who you are and let that shine, I think you'll do just fine. It's a, it's a written process at first, and then there's two sets of interviews. There's a lot of blogs out there trying to make it seem scary. It's not, it's just having a conversation with people uh, and letting them know who you are, because I think anyone can be a page. So staying in a space where I can make people laugh, I think would be really wonderful. Micah has been able to work with and learn from numerous celebrities. There's nothing like juicy that you'd think you'd be getting. Everyone I've met is so wonderful. I've, I've been in the breakfast line next to Al Roker and it's like, oh yeah, everybody eats breakfast. And somebody told me one time with advice of like, how do you not get starstruck? Everybody has a Starbucks order. What was it like being in front of the camera on SNL after having been behind the scenes? It was, it was an unreal weekend to be in Aubrey Plaza's monologue because being in the program, we always spoke like she's like the, like the mother of famous pages. We got to work on Thursday and we saw that pages were written into the monologue and we just knew that they were gonna hire actors or extras to play uh, alongside of her. And then I think it was like not until Saturday afternoon, we were like, we only rehearsed it once. We thought we were just standing in. And it was Amy Poehler who came up to me and was like, did you call your parents? Like, are they gonna watch tonight? And then after the show, Amy Poehler again was like, were they freaking out? And I was like, I don't know, they're all asleep, I think. It is safe to say that Micah Rucci has a bright future ahead of him. I'm Michaela Ainsworth, WUVA News.